Hi, I'm the protagonist of Thought Bubble. As you may know, I love reading news about China. When I heard that China had decided to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060, I felt surprised and really couldn't believe it. Is the world's largest carbon dioxide emitter seriously doing that? So I'm going to see how they go about going greener through my lens. We're arriving at the terminus. Please get ready to get off. Are you refueling it with hydrogen? I do. It's a hydrogen-fueled bus. I used to drive a diesel bus, and it was hard to start the engine when it was freezing cold outside. But this problem was solved with hydrogen. And the best thing is that it doesn't break up diesel anymore. Oh, I read the news about fuel cell vehicles and hydrogen refueling stations being used during the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics and Paralympics. I'm going to write hydrogen buses for a smooth and silent ride. Worth having a try. Hey, Li Hua! Hey, buddy. Long time no see. Come in. Wow, it's really warm in here. That really brings me back to life. And the air quality looks great, too. This winter, the city has nuclear-based heating, considerably reducing air pollution compared to coal-fired plants. What's more, the room temperature is more stable and the bill gets cheaper, too. It sounds pretty cool. And other Chinese cities are gearing up to launch nuclear-based heating, too. I'll show you around the city when my car is fully charged. Great! Remember this? Now I'm going to write. Charging stations for new energy vehicles inject green power into China's energy transition. Done. Let's go. You might ask it for help. Hi, where do wet wipes go? It's really smart. Smart waste sorting making life greener and easier. Wow, it's beautiful. But the lighting must be energy guzzling. Street lamps have already been replaced with smart LED lights, and they are not only energy efficient, but also brighter. How smart it is! Street lighting in China. Energy efficient and smart. Hi there. I'd like to call my experience today on a carbon footprint reduction sightseeing tour. Energy transition is now part of Chinese people's lives everywhere. And China's commitment to reducing carbon emissions has completely been honored. But garbage classification is driving me crazy. I'm going to end my vlog today and do some research. Bye. Geez, I need a smart robot to sort them out. 